Let's get right into it. Number one, sudden deja vu whiplash. You're walking down the street and bam, you get smacked in the face with the feeling that you've lived this exact moment before. The sights, the smells, the awkward squirrel making direct eye contact, everything is eerily familiar, even though you know it's impossible. Welcome to Deja Vu, the glitch in the matrix that even science can't debug. Researchers have tossed around explanations like temporal lobe misfires, mini brain resets, or your memory system doing unscheduled maintenance. But here's the bottom line, nobody really knows why Deja Vu happens. Some think it's your brain mixing up the past and present files, Others say it's a neural lag, your senses uploading reality twice like a video buffering on bad Wi-Fi. And then there's the theory that it's just your brain flexing. Look, I can predict the future, or maybe I just dreamed this while sleep drooling on my pillow. It's unsettling, but mostly harmless, unless you actually are stuck in a simulation, in which case, congrats, you found the Easter egg. Number two, sleep paralysis, nightmares with bonus features, you go to bed expecting the usual dreams of missing an exam or showing up to work in a tutu, but instead you wake up in the middle of the night completely unable to move. Your eyes dart around, but your body is frozen sometimes with the delightful bonus of shadowy figures lurking in the corners. This is sleep paralysis, the horror movie your own body directs. Here's the scientific explanation during REM sleep. Your brain keeps your body paralyzed, so you don't act out your dreams and accidentally karate chop your pillow. Occasionally, you wake up before your body's off switch deactivates, resulting in a brief, terrifying limbo where your mind is fully online, but your muscles are on strike. Sometimes your half-awake brain throws in a demon or two just for spice. It's a real treat, especially when your rational mind is screaming, this isn't real, while your primal brain is convinced the shadow in the corner is here to repossess your soul. No, you're not possessed, you're just running faulty software, courtesy of evolution. Welcome to the club. Number 3. The Misheard Lyrics, Glitch, aka Mondegreens. Ever sang a song with total confidence only to find out you've butchered the lyrics for years? You're not alone. Enter the world of Mondegreens, those famously misheard song lyrics that turn Hold Me Closer, Tiny Dancer into Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza. Sorry Elton, why does your brain do this? Turns out your auditory system is a bit like a conspiracy theorist, always filling in the blanks, sometimes incorrectly. When the words are muffled, your brain just guesses what should be there based on context expectation or just wild imagination. Mix in a catchy tune and a little background noise and suddenly you're inventing poetry nobody asked for. Even better, once you mishear a lyric, your brain stubbornly refuses to correct it. You can be shown the real lyrics a hundred times, but when the chorus hits, it's always Tony Danza. Who's really in control here? Not you. Definitely not you. Number four, the face in the clouds, bug. Let's get weird. You're lying on the grass staring at clouds and suddenly boom, there's Abraham Lincoln's face in cumulus form. Or maybe you spot a grumpy cat in your toast. Congratulations, your brain has activated pareidolia, the art of seeing faces and patterns where none exist. Why does this happen? Blame your overly enthusiastic pattern recognition software. Humans evolved to spot faces in milliseconds thanks saber-toothed tigers, but now it's just as likely to see a smiley face on a power outlet or a dog in a wall stain. Your brain hates chaos, so it tries to make sense of randomness by making everything into something familiar, especially faces because we're social creatures and possibly a little paranoid. The upside, you'll never be bored at a wallpaper store. The downside, you might start thinking your breakfast cereal is plotting against you. That's the price of a creative brain friend. Number five, yawning is contagious for no logical reason. Picture, this someone in the next cubicle lets out a yawn so dramatic you can practically hear their soul escaping. And suddenly you're yawning too. You weren't even tired. Now the whole office is infected like a scene from a low budget zombie flick. Why no one really knows. Science has theories, of course. Some say it's about empathy and group cohesion. Your prehistoric brain thinks if one cave person is tired or bored, everyone should be on high alert for nap time or saber-tooth attacks, whichever comes first. Others suggest it's an ancient mechanism for cooling your brain, but let's be honest, there's no satisfying answer. Even fish yawn and fish don't have empathy or offices. What's truly wild is that just hearing about yawning or reading this right now can make you want to yawn. Go ahead. I'll wait. It's a prime example of human brains being basically Wi-Fi enabled for nonsense. You can resist all you want, but your neurons have already RSVP'd to the involuntary yawn party. Number 6. The You're Being Watched Sensation 
You know that creepy feeling when you're alone, yet absolutely sure someone or something is watching you. You glance behind heart racing only to find nothing. Welcome to hypervigilance one of evolution's greatest and most annoying gifts. Your brain is hardwired for threat detection. Back when rustling bushes could mean predator or dinner having an overactive danger alert was an advantage. Fast forward to today and your amygdala still loves to throw out false alarms, empty rooms, mannequins, that weird coat hanging in the dark, all flagged as potentially evil. There's no evidence, no rational reason, just your nervous system screaming, danger Will Robinson for sport. Some psychologists call this agency detection. You'd rather have a few false positives than miss the one time a mountain lion is actually sneaking up. But now it mostly means you'll get spooked by your own reflection at 2 a.m. Thanks evolution. Glad you've got our backs, literally. Number 7. Hypnic Jerks, The Falling Off a Cliff Welcome to dreamland. You're drifting off to sleep, blissfully melting into the mattress when your body suddenly lurches like you've been pushed off a skyscraper. You wake up heart-pounding, possibly convinced you just failed an imaginary obstacle course. Welcome to the Hypnic Jerk, the body's favorite way to sabotage a peaceful bedtime. These muscle twitches happen in up to 70% of people, Science says it might be the brain misinterpreting muscle relaxation as falling, so it sends out an emergency jolt just in case. Basically, your body thinks it's saving your life when really it's just ruining your REM cycle. Bonus, if you were ever caught sleeping in class, a well-timed hypnic jerk means you get to experience both terror and embarrassment. If your ancestors were trying to help, they did it in the weirdest way possible. Thanks for nothing genetic legacy. Number eight, the own voice on tape. Nightmare. Let's talk audio horror. You hear your voice on a recording and recoil in existential disgust. Do I really sound like that? Why didn't anyone tell me, welcome to the own voice cringe, a universal moment of self-doubt? When you speak, you hear your voice through both your ears and the vibrations in your skull, which adds bass and makes you sound richer, cooler, and frankly, less annoying. But when you hear a recording, you're getting none of those skull vibes, just pure, unfiltered nasal weasel. The difference is so shocking that some people genuinely question their entire identity for a minute. The good news. Literally, everyone hates their voice on tape, except maybe Morgan Freeman. The bad news. There's nothing you can do about it, so just accept it. The world's been hearing that voice all along and they still like you. Probably. Number 9. The False Memory Factory You're sure you locked the door. You remember putting your keys on the counter. Or maybe you know the Monopoly man has a monocle until you see a picture and your entire worldview collapses. Welcome to the false memory factory where your brain moonlights as an unreliable narrator. Cognitive psychologists have spent decades showing just how easy it is to plant fake memories. All it takes is a suggestion, a story repeated enough times or even a well-timed group chat. Your mind doesn't store video footage. It's more like a sketch artist who's bad with details and loves a good embellishment. Every time you recall something, you're actually rewriting it like a bad Wikipedia editor who doesn't check sources. This is why police lineups are a nightmare and why you can swear you met a celebrity at the airport in 2008. Spoiler, you didn't. The Mandela effect, when a bunch of people share the same wrong memory, is just collective brain glitching, but more fun because you get to argue about Berenstain Bears on the internet. Your memory is a pathological liar and there's no update patch in sight. Number 10. The instant song stuck in your head, Virus. You're innocently shopping for groceries when suddenly bam a 5 second jingle hijacks your brain and loops on repeat for the rest of the day. It's a small world after all. Sorry, now you're doomed too. Welcome to the world of earworms or as science calls them involuntary musical imagery. Why do these snippets of sound get stuck? Some say it's your brain chewing on unfinished business, a song with a catchy hook, an unresolved melody or just something that matched your mood, the neural equivalent of a popcorn kernel in your teeth. And just like with actual kernels trying to get rid of it usually makes things worse. Of course you'll try every trick in the book listening to the song again, it only multiplies or humming a new tune, now you've got two. Some researchers claim a cure is to solve a puzzle or read a book. Yeah, good luck when your inner playlist is set to Baby Shark on infinite repeat. Your brain is a stubborn DJ and doesn't take requests. Number 11 the sudden itch phenomenon. You're sitting perfectly still, deeply focused, when suddenly your nose, your back, or some impossible to reach place starts itching with the urgency of a house fire. You scratch relief floods in and then wait, now your eyebrow itches. 
It's like your skin is running a prank show. Science says itching is the nervous system's way of signaling tiny irritations or threats real or imagined. But often it's set off by nothing at all, a stray thought, a bored mind, or just the suggestion that something might itch. Talking about itching can make you itchy sorry again. It's called contagious itching, and yes, it's just as dumb and pointless as it sounds. Your brain is on a constant quest to keep you aware of your body. Sometimes it's helpful, hey there's a mosquito, but mostly it's just another way your meat suit trolls you. So next time you break out in a spontaneous scratch fest, remember, it's not you, it's evolution keeping you on your toes and your elbows and your scalp and your shins. Number 12. The Forgotten Why You Opened Your Phone Blackout. This one's so modern it should come with a software disclaimer. You pick up your phone with purpose, maybe to check the weather, maybe to text your mom, and 30 seconds later you're knee-deep in dog videos or reading about ancient Mesopotamia. Whatever the mission was, it's gone vaporized into the data cloud. Psychologists blame task switching. Every new notification, every random app, every headline pulls your attention like a toddler in a candy store. The dopamine hits are real, and your prefrontal cortex is outmatched. Suddenly, you're in a browser tab labyrinth five Wikipedia pages deep and can't remember what set you off in the first place. It's not a character flaw, it's just your brain desperately trying to multitask in an environment it never evolved for. Silicon Valley wins you lose. The only fix, write down what you meant to do before you unlock your screen or accept that your next three hours are already scheduled for random scrolling. Number 13, the why did I come into this room? Glitch, you know the scene. The you struck confidently into a room like you're the main character, only to stop dead and think, wait, why am I here? It's not early onset dementia, it's a full-on firmware crash for the human mind known as the doorway effect. Yes, science actually studied why your brain acts like a Windows 98 machine with too many tabs open. Here's the science walking through a doorway, acts like a mental refresh button, and your working memory just poof wipes the thing you were so sure you'd remember. Psychologists at the University of Notre Dame found that crossing thresholds causes your brain to dump information it thinks you won't need. You don't even get a polite warning, just blank. Think of your mind as a distracted butler. Excuse me, sir. As soon as you entered the kitchen, I've decided to forget the very thing you needed. Maybe you came for scissors, maybe for cookies, maybe for a sense of purpose. Doesn't matter. All lost. Evolution apparently thought it'd be hilarious to design a memory system that dumps cargo at every new room. So if you ever feel dumb for losing track of your intentions mid-walk, remember, it's a feature, not a bug. And yeah, there's still no real fix except standing there and waiting for the universe to reboot you. Number 14. The Phantom Phone Vibration There you are minding your own business when suddenly you feel your phone buzz in your pocket. You reach for it with the urgency of someone expecting lottery results. But wait, there's no message, no call, no vibration, just your brain trolling you. Welcome to the world of phantom vibration syndrome. Scientists think it's your nervous system doing improv. Apparently we're so obsessed with being plugged in that our brains have started hallucinating notifications like a needy pet poking you for attention. The nerves in your leg or your butt not judging get bored and decide to spice things up by telling your brain there's something to check. Some researchers even link it to anticipation anxiety, that constant urge to not miss out. Congratulations, you're officially Pavlov's dog, except instead of drooling for a bell, you're twitching for a non-existent DM. Technology was supposed to make us smarter, but instead it's tricked us into vibrating like broken alarm clocks. That's progress, baby. Number 15. The Tip of the Tongue Torture Let's play a game. Try to remember the name of that actor from that one movie, the one with the face and the hair. You know the guy. You can picture him. You can describe every role he's ever played, but his name is currently floating somewhere in the stratosphere, mocking you. This is the tip of the tongue phenomenon, a psychological glitch that's both infuriating and completely normal. Scientists say it happens because your brain retrieves the information halfway, but some neural connections are on lunch break. You get everything except the actual word. It's like trying to download a file with dial-up internet 99% there, but forever stuck. You can almost feel it. You try to force it with desperate starts with a D, Dave, Dan. No, that's not it. Eventually, hours later, the name pops into your head, uninvited usually while you're doing something totally irrelevant like brushing your teeth or being cross-examined in court. No, you're not losing your mind. This is just your brain playing hide-and-seek with itself. Consider it cognitive jazz. Sometimes you just have to let the solo play out and hope the melody comes back.
Number 16, spontaneous goosebumps. You're listening to music, or maybe it's just a cool breeze, and suddenly your skin erupts in a full blown poultry impression. Goosebumps nature's way of letting you know you're not as evolved as you think. Goosebumps are a leftover party trick from our hairier ancestors. When they were cold or scared, their hair stood on end to make them look bigger or trap heat. Now we get patchy skin when Adele hits a high note or when the air conditioning is set to cryogenic. Neurologically, it's your body running an obsolete scarecrow routine triggered by strong emotions, sudden cold, or just a really good Spotify playlist. The kicker, you have zero control over it. Your body just decides, this song slaps. Time to cosplay as a plucked chicken. Modern life still living with Stone Age code, just with better headphones. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.